Ben, reaffirm your bullishness now. Can you do that? Uh, yeah, I think so. I, I, I think markets are very well supported here. I mean, a lot better supported than uh, th than people think. I think we're going to have a decent earnings season here. I think it's going to be the trough uh, for earnings. It's going to validate, if you like, uh, the, some of the rally we've seen. And I think it's going to give us some visibility on uh, the big earnings rebound that we're going to see, frankly, from here through into uh, 2021, which, again, is also going to help us sort of validate earnings. I think that incremental recovery data point is, uh, is, is still there. I think investor sentiment is still very poor uh, everywhere you look. And I think this market is probably going to consolidate, but I do think the risk is uh, that it grinds higher, right. not, that it, um, not that it sells <clears throat> off here. Ben Laidler, Gina Martin-Adams of Bloomberg has been really much in tune with you. And I go to a theme she has, which is the corporations will surprise. And because, as you wrote in December of 2018 in March of this year as well, Corporate officers adjust. How do you see different sector executives adjusting now to the new pandemic reality? So, I mean, the first thing I would say is we've got to have a huge bifurcation here in corporates, right? I mean, we focus very much on, you know, that 30% of the index, which is really suffering here, where earnings are essentially going to be uh, disappear in the, in the in the second quarter. But, uh, you know, let's not forget, probably about two thirds of the S&P 500 is going to see is very resilient here. Earnings are going to be down less than 20%. Uh, so having this huge sort of bifurcation. Now, what everybody is seeing and what we're going to be looking for for this quarter is there's some real extra costs uh, involved in, in, in restarting and retooling supply chains in PP&E, et cetera, et cetera. Uh, you know, Amazon said last quarter that was going to cost them, I think, $4 billion just in the second quarter alone. So I think we're going to be look that's one of the things we're really going to be looking at in this quarter is what are those incremental costs? How long are they going to last? And, and what do those mean to our, to our earnings expectations?